President Joe Biden's campaign promises to prevent immigrants coming to southern border of the country from Latin America and world's southern border. People who want more border security, such as Scott, believe that obstacles will not be strong enough to prevent people from going through illegal ways. Meanwhile, environmentalists say that the design actually poses a greater risk than the former president. Donald Trump's border wall for animal habitat. Biden defended decision of administration by saying that Trump period has to use the financing of period for this. Most of barriers on the border have been built under Trump and former President George W. Bush in last 20 years. These parts of the winding wall have Normandy-style fencing and abundant fencing made of steep steel poles. Biden's barrier will be much shorter than Trump's wall of 18 to 30 meters. An example of the barrier style to be used by the management can be seen in Brownsville about 100 miles southeast of Starr County. Last year, Rio Grande Valley region was fourth largest area for number of people who passed to United States. Although it was most intense of previous years, with the planned design for Starr County, he said that federal border agents could move around fencing. Scott acknowledged that moving fences can be used as an emergency stopgap precaution to prevent access in some areas. However, if fencing is not placed on ground enough, he warned that someone could use a tool to get away from road, provided that they do not harm vehicle. Jordahl said that Biden management would prevent even the smallest animal species from passing through the barrier. The only advantage of this shorter to a shorter driving. I think they don't fall that much, he said. Nickel, who lives in Rio Grande Valley, is familiar with weather type of Biden's management. Land and weather in Star County, especially in Rio Grande, which separates the United States and Mexico. He is concerned about undesirable consequences. You know. If Star County is shot by a big rainstorm and water flows into river, these get of our Jersey barrier he will prevent movement of water and make dams. Nick Nichols said, last month, the Biological Diversity Center and approximately 100 other organizations sent a letter the U.S. government to beg re-evaluate environmental protection laws. They did not receive an answer until today.